Today, Church of Uganda Family TV and other stakeholders hit a milestone as they launched the Safe Screen, Safe Kids campaign at Serena Hotel in Kampala to counteract the urgent need of child safe media consumption. <laughs> Among the activities that took place at the launch was the panel discussion that brought out critical issues from experts as panelists. Dr. Mohamed El Safeldin, the UNICEF country representative to Uganda, gave key insights on how access to digital media can improve one's life in schools, workplaces and elsewhere, thus emphasizing its importance. When we talk about the internet, when we talk about streets in Uganda, whether they are online, offline, there are so many benefits. For instance, if you look at the education, uh, for children who have access to online learning, the ability to acquire knowledge, the ability to perform better in schools, in learning, is quite high. And that's why the digital divide is very important. You know, those who have access to digital learning are doing much better. And this is where we see that they are positive. Fred Otunu, the Director of Cooperative Affairs at the Uganda Communications Commission, noted that the entity has realized that protecting children online cannot only be through regulation but a collaborative approach. The Uganda Communications Commission has realized that we cannot only combat um, uh, or protect children online through legislation. Calls for an operative approach, calls for uh, activities of this nature. And I can say we have in the past and even going forward lined up, I was happy that we, we seem to tell you with what uh, the presenter projected in terms of partnership in building capacity to develop or manage child and child online protection. Rachel Magola, the woman member of parliament, Bugweri district, who was also part of the panel discussion, called for the urgent need to train adults and equip them with the proper parenting skills. According to her, some parents tend to be soft on their children, which in the end does more harm than good. We need a whole big campaign to teach our parents. Because, honestly, some parents love their children so much, they have no clue they are damaging the children. Because what are you giving, giving the child an expensive phone for? We have created kids who want instant gratification. Because when they hold a phone, they can order it anything immediately. Now all these kids want everything immediately. Even exam results, they want them immediately, they want to pass. So you find kids cheating because the parents are teaching them to win without working for what they are winning. In the same aspect, children tend to misbehave once the digital gadgets are taken away from them, as the head of marketing and programs at Church of Uganda Family TV, Owen J notes. There is need to have the concern solved, he adds, or else the world risks losing the future generation. When you get your phone away from your child, the reaction is you're not talking for days. And now that brings me to one medical issue that Mr. Amos raised. When a child or an old person is addicted to screens, the effect that these screens have because of unlimited screen time is the same as drugs or drugs. Allow me to tell you that if today or tomorrow we don't take this seriously, my children, your grandchildren, will end up in these detox centers sooner than later. Honorable Miriam Matembe took the podium and called upon everyone to join the fight, putting emphasis on the guidance of God, which she believes is the most impactful solution. Those parents who don't have the God in them will lose it. And I say the children, the nature of the children you are getting will depend on who you are and how you stand with God. The gentleman who talked of the context, this context, we shall have what cried God I can know, but let us want to cry. Because the thing is huge. And me, I'm very ignorant with the, with what? With the te technology. 
But with my mouth, I'm ready to hear the way I The thing is, huge bishop, let us all of us bless ourselves. Those with the resources, put them there. Those with the mouth, put it there. Those with whatever, put it there. We may redeem with God. God needs us to take a step of faith. And then we will keep us. The Safe Screened Safe Kids campaign by Church of Uganda Family TV is a groundbreaking effort focused on creating a safe media space for children and encouraging responsible media consumption habits among the young audience. Luke Majumba Alinaitwe for Church of Uganda Family TV News at 8. Internet to do the same for a better future. No, Zamute Gede, Navali, Vate Gede, Kuana, Gede, Oksala, Ukulimuli, otherwise, bye.